Hello? Dr. D'Amato? Yes? Um, I'm calling you about my husband. He's disappeared and I haven't heard from him in two days. He was working on something called quantum signaling. You're a forensic scientist. You can help find reasons for things, but you also have some understanding about theoretical physics. Do you understand why I called you? Yeah. Good. Do you know anything about quantum fluctuations of an electromagnetic field that's represented by particle-antiparticle pairs? No. Warren said that they were working on quantum signaling, right? Yes, yeah, signaling pairs of quantum particles. In a tangled state. Particles that are created together and then travel apart in opposite directions. It goes much deeper than that. They were working on a device that could send messages to the particles. They called it quantum signaling. Ian was just a, a random victim in the wrong place at the wrong time. Not random. The project was sealed up really tightly. By the government? No, by the researchers themselves. It's the fact that it happened that counts the reason it happened. It's probably something different, some completely different hidden variable. <laughs> Four of the seven are now dead. Jack was killed this morning with Dave Strauss. And if these kind of paradoxes start happening all over the place, eventually it starts to unravel the whole cause and effect nature of the universe. So that's what the scientists did? I can't ignore this. Dr. Hayes, there were other ways of looking at this. 